Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to MPG. And today, today we're going to be taking a walk through my garden. I'm going to show you the updates of what's been going on over here. I'm gonna, and also, I'm going to be showing you all how to have heavier production, how to produce more peppers. All right. But first thing is first, go follow me over at my Facebook page at Nunez Peppers for the daily live feeds and updates and for the pot of the days. And, um, and also go... Uh, Follow my Google Plus account as well. And don't forget to go check out my storefront where all my MPG t-shirts are at. There's definitely new uh, t-shirt designs going on right there. And definitely there's a t-shirt for each and one of you, especially you women as well. It's, uh, there's t-shirts there for you as well. And uh, if you guys have any questions about that, just please let uh, reach out to me and I'll uh, be more than happy to help you out. All right, so uh, let's take a look at the garden and see what's going on over here. So uh, first thing is first, as you can see, there's six containers where I pulled out the six uh, Carolina Reapers from. And um, definitely I just chopped them back up, put them back in the soil. Definitely I'm letting the worms work their magic. And, um, and all of that is just composting down. And um, I got about maybe three plants to transplant in there. But for now, right now we are witnessing and... Um, I got a pretty, uh, not a pretty bad, well, you know what, I think it is, a, uh, a bad spider mite infestation going on again. Um, definitely we got a lot of leaf lost over here, but no worry everybody, you know, there's no need to worry because uh, um, I'm definitely going to be spraying them with my pest management, my neem oil, and, uh, and uh, what is it called, uh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and the Captain Jacks, everybody. <laughs> so that's been said. And that neem oil definitely will start putting in some work over here. Again, everybody, we got a lot of wicked tails over here in the Carolina Reapers. Or if you guys want to call them your seven pot primos, whatever you guys would like to call them. But definitely, we got a lot of wicked stuff going on over here. Check out those stingers. They're everywhere. All these pods, definitely these seeds were awesome. Um, and I'm happy that I grew them out again. So you can see this plant got attacked by the spider mites. But it's okay, everybody. I don't, I don't worry about that. Um, so pretty much these five or six plants are being attacked by spider mites. But we'll get that all under control again. Um, I top dress these containers with some worm castings as well. F uh, fish fertilize them, all of them already. Well, not all of them. Just the first couple of them. Just to get that green back and uh, start getting that vegetation growth going on finally everybody we got the red dog pod um pepper ripening already and um just want to show you a quick update on my seven pot bubblegum cross cross with the carolina reaper as you can see this plant is doing awesome it's a heavy producer as well so we got tons of pods everywhere i definitely been uh harvesting a lot from this one especially my seven pot bubblegum cross, cross with the BTR, everybody. This one is a really, really heavy yielder. Check it out, everybody. I mean, everywhere you see, everywhere you look, you get pods. And today I actually harvested some, uh, a very desired pod that I want to continue. But as you can see, we got that purple tint going on. Things are looking good. We got our Matthew Arthur War Tricks plants over here doing really good. Um... As you guys can see, we got my seven pot uh, bubble gum crossed with the Maruga going on. Definitely, there's a lot of pods of that being produced right now as we speak. As you can see, there's just a bunch of uh, pods everywhere. And um, here's your, uh, here's the Bootla Scorpion, which they call it the Reaper Killer. As you can see, we got pods producing everywhere as well. Sorry about the whole leaf getting in the lens, everybody. But definitely, I'm really excited to try these pods. We're loading up de uh, definitely over here with these peppers. So uh, I'm really anxious and really excited to try these peppers, these varieties. My other favorite producer is my 7-pot bubblegum cross, cross with the what's called the Peach Ghost Jammy. Definitely, we got a bunch of pods going on. Everywhere you look, there's just pods everywhere. <laughs> Check it out, everybody very very awesome producer i just love this plant everywhere you look you just you see peppers everywhere oh my goodness everybody it's hot out here and it's a beautiful day in la today everybody <laughs> so you can see the garden is looking really awesome looking really nice 
We have my seven pot bubblegum crossed with the butch tea. Definitely we got some pods ripening over here. This is what you call some pepper action. <laughs> and uh, another produce, this is another great uh, producing plant, definitely. The calyx does bleed. Um, what else do we got? Oh, we have our chocolate naga brain uh, crossed with the Carolina Reaper. This is the F2. As you can see, it looks like a blood shot red pepper. It looks really awesome. Has a nice little wicked tail going on. Let's pluck that leaf. See if we can get a good look at it. Definitely another heavy producer. Let's see. We got another one with a nice little wicked tail. What's nasty about them is that they're very wrinkly. Very nice pods. So yeah, everybody. So that's what's going on over here. My garden, things are looking good. Just got to treat those uh, spider mites. Going to mix up some of my uh, neem oil and that uh, Captain Jack's. And definitely start getting this plant uh, back to life. Well, getting it back to re-veg. And... Uh, but other than that, things are looking really good. Like I said, it's hot out here. My goodness, I'm already out of breath. <laughs> All right, everybody. So let's talk. Uh, how are you guys going to produce heavy production peppers? How are you guys going to be producing peppers? All right, everybody. So let's talk about how to get your plants to start switching into flowering and to start getting them to produce really heavy, meaning heavy pepper production, how to get more out of your plants. Um, as you guys can see, they're about maybe three feet tall. You know, they haven't exceeded anything, but definitely uh, these pot, these plants are definitely loading up with pods. Like I said, I've, on my seven pot bubblegum cross, I've already harvested over 200 pods. That was like nothing, which I was really excited. But, uh, but let's talk about how are you guys gonna get pepper production, okay? So during uh, flowering, you guys are starting to notice, oh, why are my flowers dropping? You know, I can't get any peppers to stick. Well, because your nitrogen, everything is still rich and full of food and life in your containers. All right, so your plants are still growing. They're still, you know, they're not ready to flower. So how do you encourage flower production? How do you encourage pepper production? Now, when I talk about flowers, everybody, it, uh, flowers is key, everybody. So in order to get pepper production, you need to make sure you guys have heavy flower production. All right, so how do you support that? Well, let's take a look at a product over here. Obviously, you guys know that I'm a big fan of Down to Earth. Um, definitely, they are OMRI listed, so they are certified all organic, and their amendments is awesome. And um, so let's take a look at the product, and uh, we'll talk more about it right now. So here it is. Here's a Down to Earth fish bone meal. All right, everybody. So. What this does, what I do is once I start seeing flowers produce and I see that my plants are a good formation, you know, they're a nice little bushy, stocky plant, um, and I start noticing flowers, you know, starting to pop out, when I'm ready, normally when I see them this, you know, this formed, you know, at this, you know, this height, I encourage the pepper and flower production with fish bone meal. So what I do for these five gallon containers, these smart pot containers, I'll get a quarter of a cup and I'll top dress the containers and I'll just sprinkle it all over the plant, scratch it in very gently and water it. Now what that's gonna do, it's gonna help support your flower production, it's literally gonna kick your plants into overdrive when it comes to flowers producing. All right, so it's really high on your phosphorus, which is great. It's gonna help support your root system and everything in your, you know, your plant's immune system. And um, by doing so, you know, it's a great source of calcium. And during that phase of flowering, they definitely need all of that. They need a high phosphorus, they need that calcium. And definitely you guys will start noticing, if you guys see maybe a hundred flowers, after top dressing with this, maybe in the next two days or so, it's really fast acting, you will see over three, four hundred flowers producing. And definitely you guys will start getting your, your plants to start, you know, getting the peppers to stick, the flowers to stick. And definitely this is what you guys are seeing. So again, everybody, if you guys are doing a uh, five gallon containers, top dress with a quarter of a cup of down-to-earth fish bone meal. 
Like I said, it's really high on phosphorus, which is key to get these flowers to start producing. It's great. It, it supports your flower production and everything, everybody. And it's a great source of calcium. All right. So definitely, everybody. You guys can get, I don't know, what is it, six pounds for like $13 on Amazon. This product is listed down on my description of this video. So check it out, everybody. It's free delivery and everything. You guys can't go wrong. All right, everybody. So uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, let's talk a little bit. All right, everybody. I'm cooking out here, so let's, let's, it's time to wrap it up already. So again, if you guys are ready to kick into... Uh, to pepper production you guys are ready to start producing flowers which flowers equal, equals peppers if you guys are ready to start doing that and you guys are noticing okay you got a three foot good you know stocky plant and it looks like it's ready to pr start producing hit them with that fish bone meal of a quarter of a cup per five gallon containers definitely it'll, it'll start getting the plant to uh you know it'll start thinking hey it's time to start producing flowers it's time it's time to start producing them peppers all right everybody you guys will thank me after you guys will do this, trust me. It works and it's it's been working throughout my whole entire garden. I've been using this stuff for already a quite while uh, quite a while already, everybody. So uh so give it a shot everybody. If you guys have any questions regarding any of these down to earth products, please feel free to message me. But again, when we're growing peppers or even tomatoes, everybody, that fish bone meal will definitely help you guys out during your production stages. And over here at MPG, that's what I thrive for. I thrive for production. I thrive for heavy yielding plants. We haven't stopped. We're, we're, we're just, we're barely beginning over here. So give it another month or so. Definitely we're going to start seeing bigger plants, more vigorous growers, heavier pro producing plants. But right now, I got to start producing. I know I've been saying that a lot as well. <laughs> but, you know, I'm already starting to supply people here and there. So um, if you guys are interested in some fresh, 100% all organic, high quality, super hot peppers, reach out to me and definitely I can get you guys situated. I can get you guys what you guys need. For all you hot sauce enthusiasts and all you pepper growers, anybody that wants to try anything that I got over here, message me and definitely I'll help you out. All right. So, um, you know, things are looking good over here. I couldn't be any happier. And, um, and that's pretty much it and uh, I guess I'm gonna call it a day already um, if you guys have any questions again just reach out to me over at my Facebook messenger and now Google Hangouts but definitely go follow me at my Facebook page at Nunez Peppers definitely go check out my storefront where all my MPG t-shirts are at there's probably over 25 different uh, t-shirts different colors different designs going on there so definitely get your t-shirt like I said, there's a t-shirt for everybody, even toddlers. <laughs> and for all you women, there are t-shirts there as well. Um, that's pretty much it. If you guys are looking into setting up a grow room or a grow tent with lights or anything like that, definitely reach out to JT over at Smooth Home Growing. And um, if not, uh, you guys can reach out to me and I'll get you guys situated with that as well. All right, everybody. So uh, please don't forget to like this video share this video and please subscribe to my channel all right everybody so uh i hope you all have a great weekend and i hope you guys enjoyed this video all right everybody you guys take care